right. The next project I want to work on for my module here is the dry wash. It's not going to be a creek, there's not going to be any water, it's going to be a dry wash. And it should have and could have pre-cut the wash underneath these tracks before I laid them down, but that's all right. Still going to be able to do it. I'm going to start back here, go underneath the tracks, come down here, and veer off to this way. I don't want it coming straight because I want to have a little bit of a character, a little bit of flow, a little bit of hidden you can't see or straight down the bed. you got to look around the corner a little bit. So that's my next project. I'm going to use my Sureform tool to scrape this down, get a little bit of the depth in it. Have to dig out underneath here with the screwdriver. Carefully take care of that, but that's where we're going to go next. Just about done shaping this up right here. Got the area under the tracks. Got the wash down to here. Right here is going to be a dirt road and a bridge that goes across the wash here. And the dirt road goes back up that side. But before we get that far, I've almost got this shaping done. Now I'm going to get my dryer seat sheets out and get this covered over and painted in the brown just like the mountains were that way the blues all covered up so that's the next step after I got this shaped up we're on our way this is the you know boring part here so I sped it up a little bit but applying the dryer sheets putting them on putting on my glue paint mixture just to seal them in place cover it so I can get the blue foam covered up uh, I attach the tacks on there just to hold it in place while I keep going and again there's more than one layer just to give it the texture and give it the feel that it's been covered up. This is just my method. There's various papers that you can use to uh, to cover the foam. You can use uh, impregnated plaster cloth. You can use hydrocali. You can use sculptor mold. Sculptor mold. It it doesn't matter what you do. Uh, there's my blooper. I spilled my glue. It just soaks in. Keep moving. <laughs> Had a fun time. This is what I use, but you can use whatever method that is comfortable for you. I add a dryer sheet, I add a pin, hold it in place, and this, when it dries, it, it dries hard. This is my method. I hope you guys find a, a method that suits you well. So I have started here. You can see in a couple spots I've got the dirt down and the fine dirt and sifted and put it in place. The rocks, starting to put them in place. Haven't got any huge ones yet. This is something I found that just takes a little bit of time to do. Um, kinda in my mind gotta make it come alive find out where where the rock should go by the way introduction to my bridge because the dirt road will come across here 
across there and then up and back across the track so getting ready to mount this one it is a railroad flat car on some concrete piers that I made out of hydrocal I've seen a few of these I wanted to duplicate it here so this is going to be uh, kind of the cool thing in my mind for this one that goes across the the wash here all right I'm fairly happy with with the start that I've got here so I'm gonna get these glued in place um, a little bit more dust right in here put some on top A lot of times I'll do this, I'll uh, smear and or brush on, excuse me, a little bit of, of uh, glue, my Mod Podge, and then just sprinkle this on and it'll, it'll adhere in that place right there. So for me, it, this takes a little bit of time to do it but uh, now that will glue in place same thing I can add to it right here haven't used any alcohol because I'm just sprinkling this on the wet glued spot that spot right there what we'll run up to uh, here is up on top is a grassy area so dirt running into grass same thing down here with with the rock area and you can see right here put in one of my trees uh, I'll have to move it to where the dirt is but I wanted to see how that looked got him in there Put in some of the rocks and push them up against the bank because the flood waters have washed them that way. Now these, because I've got them in a spot where I want them, I am going to spray them with my rubbing alcohol before I drizzle my uh, Mod Podge water mixture on there. That way they'll they'll stay in place. about enough for that area there I'll let it dry come back later see how it looks see what it needs and and add to it and and uh, keep going from there I'll start on another area do another spot and keep going from keep going until it just starts to find its own character that's what I'm looking for Decided right here wanted to get a sandbar and I'll build build up the gravel around it but gonna get a little bit of a sandbar going on here you can see it's it's got some sides on it but then some elevation but I'll fill that in with with the gravel coming across there or after it dries see how it looks maybe I'll add to it but wood it down sprinkle a little bit of sand on there well sand this is the fine fine dirt that I that I got out of my other out of my construction pile out of my other dirt all right a 
put it down and give it a little bit of glue to hold it in place. It is quite thick, that way it'll, but I have used the glue on, on each layer. So it should be okay. All right. Sandbar. Here are a few photos of uh, my progress as I go along here, and maybe it's my OCD, but I can't uh, complete one space and and then keep going on. I kind of jump around, but again, I'm trying to find the character, trying to create the uh, and create and let the character come out of this this piece. So I add a few rocks here, add some sand there, add some bushes here, add some grass there and then just all blended in over time. I think it's, I think it turns out pretty good. Um, add a few more rocks, add a little bit more grass, add a few bushes. If I don't like it, I can take it out or cover it over. Wanted to finish up my dry gulch portion of this uh, module here. I wanted to put some grass in this area here. So I'm going to put this on and finish this one up. Let it set up, but I think I'm about done with this. Got my little self-made static grass applier. get this put on, let it cure up, vacuum it up, might have to add some other color to it, it's awfully green for this area, but I think this worked out, this is pretty good gulch, kind of a dry gulch. Hope you enjoyed the video. There we go. I think we're pretty close to it. Let this just dry up. A couple of pictures here showing some updates static grass in a couple of spots there all right train buddies scenery pals i think i'm just about done with this dry gulch here I mean, there's going to be other things that i add to it but you can see here that i've got my uh, rocks and grass and trees and sand and everything in place for right now got my train bridge there in the back had to build those trestles and again this is going to have another piece right here it's going to have the uh, rail car bridge that I'm going to install here so going to work on that one and give you an update later but that bridge will go across there after I get it taken care of. But this is it. Appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Share in, your, in my comments uh, anything that helped you and what might have worked for you. Look forward to seeing you on, a, on the next channel, on the next video. Talk to you later.